Paco is a bearer of bad tidings. When a court issues a warrant, he goes to people's homes and evicts them. Bad news. We have a court warrant. The tenants are led away by the police. They haven't been paying the rent. Where can I go with my children? Rents are high in Barcelona and there's a housing shortage. Thousands of people live in apartments as illegal occupants. The pandemic has made the situation even worse. Bailiffs are busy. There are eight evictions on Paco's schedule today, all in L'Hospitalet, a suburb of Barcelona. The family he's going to next has to leave their home. It's been ages since they last paid the rent. We have a court warrant. You have to leave today. Why weren't we told about it? If I'm here now, you must have been given plenty of notice. The owner of the apartment wants them out. They owe him rent and the court has approved his possession claim. What should we do? I want the apartment back for my son so he can live here. Really? Sure. Then go and pack your things. The locks are changed right away. The courts are cracking down on illegal occupancies, especially with private claimants. When apartments are owned by banks or companies, decisions can take longer. In this case, the landlord has the final say. If he's willing to give them another two days, then that's what happens. If he wants them out today, then they're out. It's up to him. The landlord has lost patience with the tenants. It's unacceptable. If the apartment were owned by a bank, it would be one thing. But when the owner is someone who worked for decades to buy property, it's different. I have no sympathy for them. Spain has a housing problem. During the financial crisis that began in 2008, many people were unable to pay off their mortgages and many homes were repossessed by banks. Now the pandemic has ushered in the next crisis. People who were struggling before are now at rock bottom. They had precarious work contracts and now they've lost their jobs. So they stopped paying their rent. We've been sent by the court. Can you open the door? He's on his way to an apartment with illegal occupants. Paco had given them two days' notice, but now different people seem to be living here. How long have you been here? Since Monday? Where you sold the keys? We were here on Monday and told the tenant he had to leave. He's obviously taken off and sold the keys to this woman, who had no idea she was being ripped off. Paco calls the landlord's authorized representative. The apartment is occupied, a woman with two children. What should we do? We got them out of bed. They're not ready to leave. We'd be kicking them out onto the street. The woman is from the Dominican Republic. She's living on the breadline. I get 268 euros a month. It's not enough. The welfare office can take care of her. But even before the pandemic, they were overburdened. If this woman can't find somewhere else to live, with family, friends, people from her country, then she and her two children are going to have a tough time. A lot of landlords don't want children in the apartments. Luckily, the landlord agrees to grant her a delay. Hola. We'll go now and come back on the 5th of November. You need to have found somewhere to go by then. Throwing people out of their homes is not a job that Paco enjoys. He's been doing it for 12 years now. 
It's not easy always having to be the bad guy. You can see how people are struggling. Single mothers, old people, sick people, and I have to kick them out. It's often a horrible situation. When I started doing this job, it cost me a lot of effort. Over time, you develop a thick skin, you become immune. These protesters belong to a tenants association. They're here to support a tenant who's being evicted today. He has nowhere to go. I don't know what to do. I get 600 euros a month. I can't go to a hotel. The riot police are here too. The protesters are angry and the situation could escalate. Paco talks to the unionists to try and find a provisional solution. Before the police intervene, we want to find a solution. But the tenant has to be willing to hand over the keys. The apartment owner has the last word. The unionist calls the owner and pleads for understanding. The housing situation is dire. In L'Hospitalet, wages have gone up 6% in three years, while rents have gone up 34%. The result is mass evictions. There were 138 evictions in Barcelona last week. Finally, a compromise is found. Okay, he can stay until the 18th of March, but then he has to hand over the keys. Courts in L'Hospitalet, and indeed across Barcelona, are overrun with eviction claims, a sign of the times. Paco is 52. This wasn't his dream career. He studied computing but couldn't find a suitable job. I thought I'd be a really good programmer, but what happened to me? I became a civil servant. I'll be doing this until I retire. His next task, evicting tenants who also have a dog. The building belongs to a bank and is being renovated. Parker calls the Animal Protection Service and the police. I need police backup. Illegal occupants aren't opening the door. We've been threatened with knives. Once someone turned on the gas to try and cause an explosion, it can get dangerous. That's when we call in the cops. Hi, how are you? The building squatted. We heard a dog barking. Three people escaped through the back door. The police go in ahead to scope out the property. They find a pit bull, which they'll take to an animal shelter. One of the squatters is still there. It looks as though he couldn't take off with the others because he's sick. I'm fed up with living like this. I've got no father, no mother. I've lost everything. <coughs> You've got to stick to the law. People might not always like it, but we've got to abide by the law. Otherwise, we'd have anarchy. It would be a jungle out there. Paco lives with his partner. They don't have children. 
Life has taught him that you're either born unlucky or lucky, like him. I've owned my home since 1996, and we paid it off straight away. My parents helped me. I consider myself very lucky. But now he has to evict a young woman who gave birth just two weeks ago. I'm not doing well. Where am I supposed to take my children? A group of activists are here to support her. All Paco can do is try to get her more time. You can't put a two-week-old baby on the streets. OK, I suggest we come back at the end of the month, then we'll see. The activists try to reason with the landlord. You know the welfare system is broken right now. The only way to get another apartment would be to barricade yourself in the mayor's office. The landlord agrees to let the woman stay another six weeks. Paco urges her to find a new home as fast as possible. Try family, friends, move into another place illegally if necessary. But she has to leave this one, and she can't live on the streets. This is reality. But they're not going to throw out this baby. I'll chain myself to the apartment if I have to. Situations like these still upset Paco. There have been many occasions when I've had to go against my better judgment. If it were up to me, I'd cave in on humanitarian grounds. But when you've been told you're being evicted four times and you haven't looked for a new home, at some point you have to draw the line.